Okay. Okay. This isn't gonna be so, so much ha-has and funnies and whatever the fuck. But I can't sleep and... Fuck it. DeVry University Review. <laughs> Hold on, I need a thumbnail. So right now I was researching to see uh, how I can get out of my private student loan debt, which is from Sally Mae. Fantastic. Oh, they're just great people. Just fucking wonderful people. They're, they're there to help you. So it all started in 2006. Uh, there was advertisements for DeVry, all this other shit. Uh, I, you know, I was young, 18. And, um, I wasn't really gonna go to the school. I didn't really contact the school from the ads, even though I've seen them. But since I've seen them, and it, it influenced me to kind of want to go there because I saw it there. And then the final, you know, nail in the fucking coffin was uh, recruiters. Recruiters were sent to certain high schools to try to recruit students to go to that college, university, or whatever. They, even um, uh, the public, my public uh, college uh, came by and they, you know, did their spiel and stuff. Anyways, she was talking about how great it is and all this other stuff, pamphlets and whatnot. Oh, can I get your information and all this other stuff? If you're interested here, just give me your number, give me an email and all that other stuff. And she called, he's like, yeah, so, so what are you interested? We have these many programs and stuff. And I remember seeing a specific commercial in, in, in those commercials where they're like, oh, you'll, it, it's like a, a two year program or, or three year, I think it was a two year program. And it, it's just gonna cost you this much. You'll be in and out with a job and have a, we'll give you a free laptop, which I'm gonna fucking talk about later. So that's the spiel, oh look, here, we're gonna give you this free laptop when you just start out, you don't gotta buy anything, you're all set. So, uh, after talking to this lady and whatever, we're in the process of doing it. I went around uh, through my high school and asked teachers, like, is this school like legit, is this, school great is this good it's is this a great school and they said yes yes it's really good you should go you should whatever this and that and i'm just like oh, okay well if the teachers uh obviously back it up then it, it must be fucking fantastic one thing that i really asked about to this lady was is there tutors specifically for the classes that i'm taking like, is there specific tech tutors and everything to help me throughout the process, through every class that I had? And they said, yes, yes, yes. I asked this many times. I asked her, the recruiter bitch. I asked the school itself. I went there, did the tour and all this. And they said, yes, yes, yes. We, we do everything. Oh, yes. Let me suck your dick. Let me kiss your ass. They were just really on there. Just said they had all the help that, that I would need personally. I am not the best uh, at education, writing, and all that crap, or math, and um, but still, I, like I tried hard, and I was like, and I was told s s throughout my life, like this is what you need to do. This you got to go to college. You you know, I I had this thing in my mind where I'm like, I need to get a degree, and I need to get ahead of the game, and I'm gonna be better than all these other fucking dropouts and all these other fucking people which nowadays, hearing about some of them, they got a good job, they're making real good fucking money, they already got their own fucking house, and they apparently they were a dropout, whatever, pathetic people. No, they just didn't go to college, they worked hard and they did all that shit. I had to end up doing that fucking way later down the line. Oh yeah, you might have noticed this. I put this because this is how I fucking feel when I think about DeVry and school and colleges and private loans. So I asked, if, if they had the help that I needed and they said yes, yes, yes. I went with my mother to like see financially how we're gonna pay for this. Uh, of course, didn't have cash money to pay this shit. 
and then we uh, oh do FAFSA just sign up for FAFSA yeah I don't qualify for FAFSA all right now since I can't get FAFSA money at all uh, there's loans and then I couldn't get a government loan or whatever the hell loan and then Sally May is just like oh yeah just here here just you just sign off it's the interest rates low as hell it's all good blah 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 yeah 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 like the thing is at the age that I was, I didn't know about interest. I didn't know uh, about contracts and signing them and how like all this shit is like, this is things that I wasn't taught in high school. I was taught a bunch of other shit, but I wasn't taught basic shit on how to not get fucked over in a shitty ass loan. Like I didn't know when it's a private loan that there is like zero way out of it, period. Uh, and it's very hard to get any help at all from that kind of debt. So sign all that quick, whatever, really quick. We, we signed the papers, got all that shit, whatever, I got enrolled. Uh, went to their dormitory, all this stuff. Like, you know, the first two weeks seemed like, oh, this is just fucking great. I'm, I'm gonna get my shit together. Uh, I'm gonna pass my classes, I'm gonna get an education, gonna make money, gonna get that diploma, all that crap. After a couple of months, like maybe six, is when it started like slowly, just you see the shit under. You see that it was all bullshit. Let me talk about that fucking laptop. So they give us the laptop. This laptop, one, isn't brand new. Two, is old and shitty as fuck. Sound like, fuck it, whatever. If you do not graduate, you don't get the laptop. So on top of it being used and shitty and then coaxing you to go to this college because you get a free laptop, you don't even get to keep it if you don't graduate. The prerequisite classes, so you know, the basic English, math, all that crap, like there's some that you have to do, like, you know, I had to do 101 and and uh, English 101 and math, whatever the fuck, it does, I, I don't even fucking remember anymore. So while I was taking those classes, what I realized is that they were very, very easy. Like, I in high school it was very hard, but here it's like, oh, you got an A, you got a B, it's all good. I got a fucking A, I think an A plus in English. I'd never gotten an A plus in English in my fucking life. So what I realized what they were doing is the classes that are just basic English and math or whatever, they made them, they probably told the teachers to make it fairly easy so you wouldn't feel, so to not make the students feel like, oh shit, this is too much, I, I wanna back out now, I just wanna leave. No, private schools are there to make money. How do they make money? By keeping you in that fucking seat in the class to keep you enrolled as long as possible. And there's this thing like, you know, if I were to jump out you know, within a month of just being there, fuck it, I just pay off $2,000, $3,000, whatever it is, and then be done with it. But if they make it easy and you stay there after a couple months, you accumulated already this money and you have peer pressure from like society or fucking your parents or whatever, you don't want to seem like a fucking loser. And you're like, well, if I drop out, I'm going to be fucked. But now, thinking back, I should have just fucking left, but after passing the whatever classes, then it got to the classes that I needed to be doing for my career or whatever the fuck it was. And while I was in those classes, it was hard. It was very hard. I couldn't understand these, this tech shit. Um, I, I would read the books and it, it still didn't make sense. So I was like, all right, I need to go see a tutor to help me with, with this tech stuff that is so damn hard for me. I go and I ask, I was like, do you understand this? No, nobody did. Nobody in, in the tutoring of uh, fucking whatever the hell, they, none of them knew how to do what I was studying for. So they fucking lied. Oh, I, I couldn't get it done. I had to, this is how, how bad it was. I went to the dean of the fucking school himself, like made an appointment, I was like, hey, I need to talk to the dean about this and, and whatever. And I was like, yeah, they said there would be tech tutors for 
what I needed. And then he said, well, the, the tutoring is, um, the people available for tutoring are like the people who want to do it. So they end up being students who are there. They're not like hired people from outside or whatever the hell. It's just any students around there that want to be tutors to make a, a bit of extra money, I guess to pay off all this fucking debt that they're accumulating. And so the tutors that are there didn't know what the fuck, what I was doing. I was just awestruck and going, what the fuck am I going to do? I'm deep into this. I've already accumulated a shitload of debt. You're stuck there because you don't know, because, because you think, all right, well, if I leave now, I'm in debt. But if I keep struggling and fighting as hard as I can, maybe I can, you know, find a job and actually fucking pay this shit back. So with the tutoring shit, I was so desperate that through the dormitories, I would knock door to door and go around asking people if they knew how to do what I was doing and if they would help me with it. Like, that's fucking sad that I have to go out of my way to try to get help for this class that they told me that they would give me help and they didn't. I ended up like failing a class or something so I had to retake it, which guess what? You gotta get another loan because it's not under the original contract loan. They're like, yeah, 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 just sign it. Here, it's fine. Like, they, they, they act like it's nothing and the way they portray how it's nothing made me feel like, you know, oh, all right, it's, it's pretty much, it, it's no big fucking deal. And I did, and I signed that shit, and I'm like, all right, well, fuck it, I'll just make it up. Another problem is the, the classes that we were in were so shit, from the teacher that was so shit, that when it came to the end of the semester, we were behind half, half, half of the material. So half of the material we knew and we still had half that we had to do, but we didn't have time. So he's like, all right, we're just gonna test for pretty much half of what we were supposed to fucking learn. So I'm like, okay, how are we supposed to know what we're doing in the next fucking classes if we only know half of the material in this class? I have no fucking clue. Apparently it's okay to do that shit. It was really bad. It was just really fucking bad. I, like the only reason that I can't really remember specifically of many fucking things that were bad with the fucking school is because I just suppressed that shit like if it was rape. Because financially, they fucking raped me. And also, they fucking raped me in life with this fucking debt, fucked up my credit. Who knows if it affected me trying to get jobs. So we're backed up on our courses. The teacher didn't know what the fuck he was doing. The next teachers, the classes were very empty. Oh yeah, this is what I want to say. So these, this program that I got into apparently were accelerated programs. So the thing is, uh, it's a semester that is supposed to be so long, so many months, and it's condensed to half of that time. So on top of the classes already being hard, I have less time to learn this shit because they were very accelerated and whatever the hell. So I complained and I said, all right, can I just go from accelerated to decelerate this shit so I can catch up with all the shit that I'm supposed to catch up with and have more time to learn it? And they said to me, oh, this course that you're in um, doesn't offer those kinds of classes. So the program that I was in to, to do this shit doesn't have a decelerated version. They just made this shit up real quick and said, let's sell this shit to a bunch of fucking kids who don't know shit. And that's what they did to me and the other people that were in those fucking classes. I didn't even want to change my major because I was like, I already spent so much time doing what I'm doing now 
and I was just like, all right, I'm just going to try harder. I'm going to read more. And I was like, I would sit there for hours and hours, late nights, trying to understand what the fuck I'm looking at. And it's very hard when the only person who is trying to help you is yourself and no one else. Even I go on the internet, couldn't, couldn't find shit. This program was destined to, to fail. And I, I don't even think anybody passed that fucking program. I have, I have that specific one that they built. Uh, I did see a lot of people drop out. This was one of the things that I saw. People would, would go through the dorm really fast. Like every three months there'd be someone new and a lot of people dropping off because they either couldn't do it or just changed their mind and said, this debt is insane. Whatever reason, they just left. I had a friend who was taking classes to learn video game development. And he, I remember going with him, he was having problems. I went over there with him to try to, I guess, repeal or whatever, so they wouldn't kick him out of the school so he can keep trying to do it because he already accumulated already so much debt. He was so distraught when they said no, they denied him, they said you're just, you're, you're out of school or whatever. That while we walked back to the dorms, he fucking threw up. He threw up all over the ground and I just stood there going, what the fuck? And this happened to almost every single person I made a friend with there. Maybe 18 out of 20 people. And the people who did know what they were doing and they were smart people or whatever and they got duped fucking going to that school i talked to them and asked them well you know would you have chose a different school if you could and they said yes they're like i fucked up by coming here but since i'm already here and i have like ten thousand dollars in already jumping ship would be crazy or something like like they felt financially stuck there so they stuck so they stayed there so another thing that i found out down the road because um the commercials and whatever make it seem like oh look we have you know and it's true they that's why it was it felt like a really fucking lie a real big fucking lie where they're like oh you know we have people working you know getting their degrees and getting a job right after they work not true uh, shit, the percentage of people who actually get a job from companies coming to DeVry to select people to go work for them is very fucking low. It's probably like 2% or 1% or less than that. So the only people who actually get those jobs like really, really, really know their shit. The other people... Fuck you. you, you're lucky you even got a piece of paper. Go fuck yourself. The promise of a job right afterwards made me feel very uh, safe while I was, you know, right when I started. But then finding out how it worked while you were in it and how you got the job was insane. It, 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 it wasn't how they depicted it. All right, the other thing I also found out that I did not know and nobody said anything, the thing is, no one taught me this. No, I had no idea. The prerequisites, all the classes that I was taking pretty much, just the basic shit, math, English. Credits that you do, the classes and the credits that you get in DeVry are not credible anywhere. Anywhere. I cannot transfer the credits that I accumulated there to a, a college, which I would call a real fucking college or community college and stuff like that. So that made no sense to me. So I'm like, how the fuck is this legal? How the fuck can you charge me out the ass for a degree that pretty much a lot of companies don't even see as legit? And then the credits aren't transferable. So pretty much it's like, it's like fucking cards in a fucking board game where it's just like here. It's like if I went to a college and I was like, oh, well, I have a degree and it's just like a fucking, like I just popped open the fucking Monopoly box and I was like, here's paper, there, bitch. Like, that, that's pretty much what it was. It was just fake. It's just fake ass shit. So I was like, how the fuck is this school running when the paper that you get, your degree, 
doesn't mean shit, and your credits don't mean shit anywhere else. It, it, it makes no sense. And then I had a friend who was very smart there. They, they were successful. They went through... This is the thing. I saw this happen. So I went to the dean for help. He looked at me like... Like, I was just shit. Like, honestly, like, he's like, oh, whatever the fuck. Like, get the fuck out of my office. Like, kind of attitude. But my friend, who was very smart, got A's and everything. Uh, the that, that rule that the credits aren't transferable and all that stuff is, um, like, can be bypassed and made credible somehow because they did that for her. Because they're like, oh, well, here, and we're gonna, you know, she went to a different fucking school. She transferred from there to another school, and everything applied for her. So this dean guy went above and beyond to help her. Why? Because it makes the school, their school look good. But me, someone who's just like, oh, whatever, you fucking dumbass. I'm just here to fucking put you in debt and take your money. Because that's what they do. They get people who are uneducated and loans and all this other crap, you're... It's predatory, very predatory. While I was researching on trying to figure out how to get help for this loan, like it's dead ends every single turn. I've talked to a lawyer and they just shrug and go, yep, that's just how it is. And you just feel hopeless and fucking all this crap. So the thing is, I ended up dropping out because I, I just couldn't do it anymore. I was like, when I, they weren't helping me. They were just putting me in more debt. I'm fucking leaving. I bounced left, got a, um, got a job. Like, I, <sighs> all right, I'll go th even deeper with this. Going to DeVry ruined my life because it ruined me financially. It ruined the relationship with my family. It made me pretty much, you know, MIA. Like, I just left. I kept getting criticized. You fucking drop out. You whatever. You this. And then, like, my mom would be like, oh, look, look, look at this state. It's like, like, you don't fucking care. You don't fucking care to pay it off and, and all this other shit. And I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to pay it off if I don't have the money to pay it off? And on, on a minimum wage job, which at the time was paying like seven fifty a fucking hour, even if I worked full time, I still wouldn't be able to pay this shit off. And being, like, told that over and over again, like, I felt like such a fucking burden and a problem that I said, the problem, all right, the problem's fucking gone. And I disappeared, and I left, and I moved out. And for, like, an entire year, I didn't contact them, I didn't whatever, I, I just MIA, which was very fucking bad and terrible. Um... I got a job at fucking Blockbuster. The loan payments or whatever from Sally Mae, which is Satan, um, sent me these, uh, you know, I started talking to them to try to pay this shit off. I started getting paid and they're like, oh, well, all right, your, um, your payments are going to be $150 a month or something like $150 to $200 a month. And on a minimum wage job, that is a lot because, like, seven fifty an hour. I'm working only five, six hours a fucking day. And on top of that, now I'm paying rent, just all that other shit, and food for myself and all this other crap. Uh, I, I was like, all right, that's manageable, but like barely. It was barely manageable to pay them off. So I was paying them off for about three months. And I look at the bill, and the amount got higher by not a lot. It was like a dollar or two dollars. But I'm like, I'm paying 200 bucks a month. I Shouldn't this shit be going down? And I talked to the lady, and she's like, oh, well, what you're paying is just the interest. And I'm like, okay, so you're telling me that you're okay with me just paying $200 a month and pretty much this thing just keeps increasing and it's never gonna go away. So I'm gonna pay 200 bucks 
for the rest of my fucking life and this debt is still gonna be there. That's when I said, fuck it, I'm not paying you anything. I'm never paying you anything again, what's the point? If, if I can't get rid of my debt or you make it to a point where I can get rid of my debt, there's no point in fucking paying it off because I'm in debt for the rest of my life. So might as well not fucking pay you. And that's exactly what I did. So what happened? I stopped paying and then my debt went into collections. Went into collections. The, the day it got to collections, I would receive phone calls every single fucking day, multiple times a day from different random numbers, different random people going, Hey, yeah, I got a, I, I, you, you got a debt. Yeah, you need to pay this. One guy called, I'm not going to assume, you know, well, fuck it. He was black. He was a black dude. I could fucking tell. He was talking like, what, hey, 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 yo, what's up? What's up? Uh, yeah. So um, it shows here that you owe like $15,000. Um, yeah, can you pay that today? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I cannot pay that off. And he's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, how about $10,000? And I was like, dude, I, I can't. I was, and then he's like, all right, well, how much can you pay me? And I said, honestly, $20 a month. That's it. And then he's like, all right, all right, right. How about, how about $2,000? Like, are you, what the fuck? Like, this isn't working. This is, this haggling doesn't make sense. They call, they send mail. It, it, it just never stopped. It never, ever stopped. I changed my number. They found my number. They kept calling me for every number that I changed. It just didn't matter. Uh, I'd, I'd end up talking to some of them and then I'd be like, well, whatever. And they say the stupidest shit like, oh, well, do you have like a cousin or maybe an aunt or an uncle you can borrow the money from? I was like, yeah, sure, I can just borrow 20 or $15,000 from them. Uh, yeah, 15,000, it's nothing, it's nothing. It's, it's nothing to, to everybody. So they, they would pull that shit and it made me severely, severely depressed. So depressed that I just wanted to fucking die. Like literally, like I contemplated like just fucking killing myself because I just couldn't deal with it with the constant harassment over and over and over again. Like, and if you change your number, shit, they'd, they'd get it real fast. It would be past like three weeks or a month. They already got your number. You, you move, they got your fucking address. Like they're just stalking you wherever. And it got like the, the worst, the worst, uh, probably of the calls or whatever is like when they contacted other family members and it wasn't like my brother or my sister or like like immediate family they contacted my cousin who had nothing to do with anything i never mentioned her name i never wrote her name on anything i never put her as a emergency contact on anything her name and her address and her phone and anything, like, I, nothing. That they were able to get her information, they started sending mail to her fucking house and calling her fucking phone about my fucking debt. This was insane. And like, I don't know how, how that within itself was fucking even legal, which it's not, but the thing is, trying to prove this shit and trying to sue people, and especially a multi-billion or whatever dollars company is insane. And like, lawyers aren't gonna take that case and all that shit, who the fuck is gonna defend me? Fast forward, uh, my mom passed away. The more stressed out because all her belongings, properties, house, and all that stuff. The thing is, she co-signed the loan, so now that she's dead, well, you can't get the money from her, she's gone. I'd like to say that, like, the, 
that's the only positive thing I could say about this debt, which is not good at all, that they can't go after her because she's fucking dead, and it sucks. But um, the problem now is that I fear that I will lose what was given to me from my mother because she passed away and I've stressed out so much that one day they're gonna come and be like we're taking your house and liquidizing your assets or whatever like we're just taking all your shit we're gonna leave you homeless because you owe me money so as far as I remember the original loan was $15,000 and now, since it defaulted and debt, uh, late fees and all that fucking bullshit, it's uh, gone to, it's probably at $60,000 right now. I attended the riot in 2006. From 2006 to like 2008 or 2007. I'm thinking at the beginning of 2008. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, so the thing is, the the cherry on top of everything is that there. I, I thought there was a a small chance, a small glimmer of hope that I would get some help because there was a lawsuit against the Rye. And the lawsuit was because of their advertisement, they bamboozled people, they lied to people about a bunch of shit. And to me, they lied fucking so hard throughout the whole damn thing that I was baffled at how legally they could do this. Like, how can you get off fucking over new people who don't know anything and they see that as huge profit because why you have the rest of your fucking life to pay it off you're 18 you, you it's it's what i would call modern day slavery we got you you're fucked so but yeah to the thing where i was talking about the lawsuit that went against the right and maybe you know i could get my shit forgiven and stuff uh Unfortunately, it's from 2008 and up. So it's like 2008 to 2018 or 17 or whatever the lawsuit. You, you're, in, you're in it. You're good for you. But, if, but everybody who got duped from 2007 or 2006 like me or, or, or 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 from all the 2000s, like, you're fucked. Oh, 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 like... Are you kidding me? The same kind of ads were happening and all this other shit. And it's just so stressful. Like even trying to look at videos to help myself to try to, to figure out a way to get rid of this fucking debt it is just, I, I just can only last so long because it is so incredibly depressing. And then something in the contract that I apparently signed with Sally Mae in fine print, who knows where the fuck it said. Apparently, if you don't graduate, the 5% interest shoots up to like 18% or a higher percent. Like, like I'm pretty sure it was 18. So it's like, oh, they said five or it was three, like three to 5% interest. And then it shot up higher if you fail. So to me, that is really fucked up because it's like, okay, I failed, I dropped out. Obviously, don't have a really good paying fucking job. So that's, that's what they're relying on. They're relying on people to drop out, fail, and be fucked. Because then they can financially fuck you over for the rest of your life. To this day, I keep getting mail. Like, I just opened one up. And it, it might have been one of the small loans. I don't even know what the fuck this is from. Uh, I'm going to try not to show anything on camera. But um, learn, loan type, it just says Perk, which I guess is Perkins Loan, which I still don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, just the account number, original loan amount, 3000 for who knows what the fuck. 
principal balance, 3,000, interest rate 5%. Uh, principal interest is $12.50. Total due this period is $12.50. And it, it, it just says new uh, university accounting services. It doesn't give much information. And that's the other problem is that once I went to collections, I found out about how collections and debt and all that crap work. Um, my debt was sold off so many times that I don't even know who the fuck I owe money to anymore. Because I'll see one name of somebody and then another name of somebody. Hey, we're trying to collect the debt for this person or whatever the fuck. And, and it's different. It, it, it changed probably four or five times. So that's the thing. It's like, what makes me want to pay it off when you're just selling it off to the next person? And then also for like, you know, pennies on a dollar. You're just like, oh, all right, well, uh, he owes like 15 grand, but he hasn't paid in like fucking 10 years. So uh, I'll sell it to you for a thousand. And then they try to get money from me. And then like, I've if they sold it five times off, that means the, the second fucker who had it sold it cheaper to the next fucker who sold it cheaper to the next fucker who sold it cheaper to the next fucker. So right now, whoever bought it, bought it for dirt cheap. And then they want to collect 16000 from me. Fuck you. I'm not paying you that much. I don't even want to pay the damn loan, uh, Sally Mae or, or any of them or the school directly or, or anybody because they were all in cahoots. They all knew what the fuck was going on. They all knew what they were doing. They were fucking over students and people who were trying to make something of themselves. Now I feel like it, it's, it's true. Like I, when I was growing up, I really didn't want to be a piece of shit. Like person who's just like, oh, I'm going to live off welfare. I'm just going to not give a fuck, whatever. Uh... To me, failing high school was catastrophic. Like that was my life. Like I wanted to graduate high school. I was so proud of myself. I worked very hard. I, I, I had to retake classes even though I failed and I, I went to tutoring after school. Uh, I would stay till like four o'clock and then take the late bus which dropped off everybody all over and the last stop was me. So I'd get to home, I'd get home around like 5.30 to six o'clock every day because I had that drive to just not fail. And and now I'm just here in, in huge debt, uh, not knowing what the fuck to do. The only thing that I can do is on the only thing that has made me happier is honestly just ignoring it and that's all I can do. I lost faith in the education system. They are not teaching the right things to the right people. If there's people that are very, very, very intelligent and you know, they, they know math very well, they know science very well, they know medical very well, they should pursue that. Put uh, emphasis on those people and other people, you know, more practical shit. Maybe it's more practical shit. No, I, I didn't learn anything about business. I didn't learn any loans, interest or whatever. I pretty much hustled with the years that I've spent wasting time trying to get a degree that would never happen. And finally, now, got a position where I'm making decent money. I climbed up the ladder, busted my ass, and it doesn't matter now that I'm making enough money to be able to pay off my loans because they're in default, so they want that shit in full. They'll be like, okay, I I get letters where they're like, okay, here's like, you know, 60,000, whatever the fuck it is to now. And they're just like, 
Uh, we're gonna need this in two payments of $30,000 each. That's not happening. That's never gonna fucking happen unless I win the fucking lottery, then I'll pay you off and then just be like, fuck you, just get off my back. But it's insane. And I think there needs to be legislation or something. Like I've seen videos where that holds college, colleges, you know, to what the fuck they're doing wrong, especially private ones that are fucking people over with these private loans and all these fucking classes and, and credits that you can't transfer, pretty much giving you a fake ass certificate that hopefully a company will legitimately take it and see you as an, accred an ad uh, accredited person. And I don't know where I'm going with this. Either way, uh, this is my review for DeVry. And uh, yes, it's, it's 10 out of 10. I recommend it. Just go, go, go pull out all the loans. Just go, yes, yes. I'll sign here. Yes. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm kidding. The best thing you can do is not fucking go to DeVry or any private school, period. Because everything that you want to learn is online. You want to learn how to draw, you want to learn how to program, you want to learn how whatever. Like some places do charge you or whatever from videos or whatever the hell. But goddamn, they don't charge you as much as a fucking college will. They won't. It, 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 it's a lot cheaper. It's the information highways, the internet. The only thing is, oh, you need your accreditations and all this other bullshit. No, no, no. If you're really good at what you're doing, there's a lot of people who will oversee the fucking piece of paper that some people have and see actual natural talent and hire you. Because the way things work today, where it's like, here's your fucking paper, uh, you've busted your ass for five years or six years in college that went out into the world and your social skills are fucking dog shit or how things really work with people are dog shit. And I've seen people like that. It's fucking insane. Where I've seen people who show up, they're put as managers, they've never worked in any other position ever in their fucking lives because I've asked them, I was like, what, what job did you have before this? Oh no, this is my first job. So you're a manager, this is your first job, and you don't know how to work with people. That's why everybody who's under your command or whatever fucking hates you because you're insane, your social skills are shit, you don't have a sense of humor. What the fuck is wrong with you? They're pretty much a robot that has been taught to just like fucking process shit but there's so many variables that you need to learn as a human being so you can work with other people besides just numbers and that's what they think of and that's why most people end up quitting you end up losing people <sighs> fuck i don't even know where the fuck i'm at anymore it's just a rant i'm not very good at uh, trying to talk in front of camera or look in front of the camera or all this other shit, but the thing is, I'm just trying to say as clearly as I possibly can how bad it was, how fucked I got, and how I can't seem to find help no matter where I go. And it's incredibly depressing because you're trying to function and you're trying to, to I'm trying to further my life and my career and the things that I love and the things that I want to do. And in the back of my mind is always that fucking debt. Always in the back of my mind that's fucking me over. I, I, trying to get a car uh, and all this other stuff. It, it's a real bitch. It's a real bitch because it's like, okay, I got to get a car to get to this new job that's very far, but I can't get a loan or I can't get whatever on this car because my credit is fucked. So if you can't get a home, get a kid, a car and all this shit, you're just stuck there being broke because the basic 
shit that you need to try to make more money will be harder to do and all that if you're paying off loans and shit. So you just, it's just a fucking hole. That's what they want. They want you to keep, keep you in a cycle where you can't pay it off because that's how they make profit. Just don't go to Dubai. If, look, my main purpose of this video is for someone who's interested in Dubai and says, oh, I'd like to see a review. There's always mixed reviews where it's like, oh, well, I had a positive experience. I was like, yes, yeah, because you're probably really fucking smart. You had money from mommy and daddy or some shit. You didn't pull out a fucking loan and everything was, they're just like, meh, whatever. Which I have met people who have gone to Dubai and they got all their shit paid off because their parents were rich or whatever the hell. But me, I was broke. So I recommend if you're honestly not a straight A fucking student and have a shit ton of money and you're just like, fuck it doesn't matter if I really pass this or not, this school's for you, fuck it, have a blast. Because you you have no risk. But if you are broke as fuck, your education isn't that great, don't go there. Go to community college. A lot of people, this I didn't want to go to community college because of the stigma of community colleges that has been put in, I don't know, in movies and shows and, and people and, and culture. I don't know why the fuck uh, community colleges apparently they're like, oh, well, that's, that's fucking trash. You went to community college. No, community college is the same fucking shit. It's just cheaper. It's way cheaper. Fuck that. Go to community college, get all your prerequisites, all that shit, all your credits, all that other stuff, and then go to where you want to go because it'll eventually be a lot fucking cheaper. Don't listen to whatever pe people say because a lot of people that I've heard who ended up going to the original colleges that they were going to went to community colleges and said that the classes that they took were hardest Book. But once they passed them and did all their prerequisites and went to the actual colleges that they said it did the how hard it was compared to the college that they went to that the community college was way fucking harder and that it was a cakewalk once they went to the actual college that they went to. So yeah, community colleges will bust your ass and bust your balls to try to fucking get the education that you need. Whereas colleges where you actually like pay way more out of pocket and all that crap, they don't give a fuck. And private ones especially don't give a fuck. They're for profit. That means they want to make money. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about what, like if you graduate or whatever. They just want the churn. They want people coming in and out. It doesn't matter. That's why they don't tell you the statistics of like, well, what's your graduation like percentage? Like... Uh, how many people graduate uh, that have enrolled here percentage-wise and then how much of those people who graduated actually got a job in their field after they graduated, like in a period of time. And that's something you should ask. Um, I didn't know about that when I was 18. I was just like, I just want to, you know, be fucking not a piece of shit. But, um, yeah. Fuck the rye. They ruined my fucking life. Uh, they put me in financial slavery. And now, um, yeah, I'm fucked. Don't get fucked. It's a scam. It's a huge fucking legal scam. I don't know how the fuck this is legal. It should be illegal. They should fuck all these people over because it's just ruining the country and making everybody get in debt. Which is like, if a lot of more people get in debt, then how the fuck is anybody gonna get houses, pay for anything, or do anything? How's anybody gonna just live? So my life ended at 18 when I signed a contract. And life shouldn't be like that. Thank you, DeVry. Go fuck yourself.